I wanted to take a moment to make a special note. Uh, first of all, on this AC motor, I'm going to hook it up to this DC battery. And if you can see here, I went uh, a red positive to one lead and the black negative to the other, which goes through the wire straight to the AC induction motor. I'm going to hook it up to this DC battery, 12 volt battery, and you'll see that the motor runs. So you can run an AC motor off of DC power one way only, but you're only using half of the potential of this motor to do so. And I also wanted to mention that even running this motor off of the microwave transformer with my secondary windings and off this battery, we're running it at low voltage which can hurt it. So at home or wherever, anytime you run a motor off a lower voltage than it's intended for or intended to run on, you can get heat and you can damage the motor. And when you run them on low voltage, they don't have the torque or power. I mean, you can stop them easier or quicker than you can when they're not ran on the correct voltage, AC or DC, either one. So I want to make that clear, that even though I run these motors off of different types of electrical currents, like my generating station or off of my secondary uh, coil winding AC on my microwave transformer or even when I went through the bridge rectifier, uh, the, the voltages are not right for these motors, but I'm just showing you the difference between AC, DC, what will work, what, how it works, or even a DC battery to run some of these motors. But I wanted to make sure you all know that if you do this at home and you leave a, con a, a continued use of something with low voltage or the wrong voltage, you're going to damage your motor or your device. Just wanted to make that clear. But a DC motor will run an AC induction, or DC battery will run an AC induction motor, but you're only using half of it. You're using the push side, not the pull side. So it's only got half its RPMs, depending on the voltage and low voltage and all that considered. But even if you ran it with 120 volts of DC power, you're still DC, you're only going to use half the motor's capabilities. And you'll still get more heat than you would running it as it was intended to. So I want to make sure everybody knows that, that you need to run your motors off the intended power, the intended type of power, AC or DC, that they were designed to run off of, or you will get problems. They'll either get hot, or they just won't run right, or your whatever they're turning is not going to have the right uh, RPMs and torque. But I wanted to show that an AC motor will run off of a DC battery or DC current. Thanks.